Welcome back, everyone, to Halloween Haunts 365.com, the podcast, YouTube, whatever the hell we are. We're still in the goddamn dining room. Yes, we are. Uh, it's been good practice, though, for when we do these live shows that we want to start doing. I added more stickers to the laptop. <laughs> I was bored waiting for Call of Duty screens to load today. Uh, so I hope you guys are ready for Christmas. I know I'm ready for it to be over. Yeah, we still have quite a few stuff to do, but it's okay. We got a week. Yep. Guys, uh, the computer's in the shop, so hopefully we can return to normal right after Christmas. We will have a show drop on Christmas. Um, yes. It's going to be our Christmas wish list of what we want to see in haunts. It's not going to be putting down haunts. It's stuff we've seen in other places that we like to share. Yes. I think that's a cool idea. That is a cool idea. As long as we can get enough. Uh, try and fill a half hour, but because it's the holidays, I probably won't have the computer by then. But, you know, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's just the start button. could be just the start button. It could be. Let's hope it's it is. It's not the power supply. Yes. Because I have it right over there. I fit. Perfect. Still wouldn't power. So I have a feeling it could be the button. Yeah. Easy yep. fix. We're going to have our mug shown off here. Why not? All right. But today... It's a nice mug. It is. I use this all the time. Keeps it cold, cold. Keeps the hot, hot. Keeps moving. But what are we doing tonight? We are doing our review for last night. We went to Lincoln Mill. Lincoln Mill Haunted House. Manny Young, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We had an absolute blast. Oh, my God. It was so much fun. Um, huge shout out to the Haunt Informer for joining us and going through with us. Uh, we went through twice. And uh, I love going through haunts with him. He's a good time. Yes. Very mm. informative. There's a ton of stuff. And when we got down, we walked the streets of Maniunk. We did. We did a lot of cool stuff down there. If it wasn't Christmas, we would have ate there, but it's Christmas, so we're broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, but um, let's get this review. Hell of a turnout for a Christmas event, I will say. It was. At one I point, can't see your uh, cups in the way. We're just going to talk I about I know, but the, your cups in the way. It's not even filled out. I know. Thank you. Okay. Can you see now? I can see now. There. <laughs> Hell of a turnout. Oh my gosh. They were. They were mobbed. Like, and then when we were leaving, there were still, still tons still of people. Still people waiting to get through security. So I it mean, was at really one cool. point, they were eight, eight deep. Six rows deep. Six rows deep? Mm hmm. <clears throat> but even in the Christmas show, they had the line actors out there entertaining everyone. Oh, yeah, that was the best. A lot of videography going through, which was really cool. Um, it's just a good time. It, it really is. It's it's right on the, uh, I guess it's a river. I don't know what the hell that thing is. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Schuylkill, right? It, yeah, it's a river. Yeah. So um, let's dive into this. The date of this review was 12 16 23. And guys, I'm just as disappointed as me. As you are, no cool scoring video with some rock music going. I know. I, it's killing me. But we're just going to talk about it. Because you know what? They deserved an episode. Uh, actors. A five. Uh, yeah, we're going five blood splats. Huge shout out to the um, Miss Claus chainsaw. Yes. <laughs> Terry in the... Um, the doll. And that uh, scene see. with the round room yep. and the words on the wall. Shout out to the gingerbread man. He was a lot so of fun. Cool. I mean, hey, you don't know what that or, was. Yeah, that's true. Um, uh, Jack Frost. Jack Frost. Holy oh, shit. Damn, that was good. <laughs> the makeup on him. I know that's not the actor, but go. Whoo, what a job. Yes. What a job out of the makeup for this show. Um, and the line actor, the all she of did them. the nails last at the Halloween yeah, one. Yeah, she was like a Christmas fairy Christmas, this year yes. with two faces. Yes. You had the guy carrying around the Grinch head. Victor Kane was all in um, yes. Santa. Yes. So it was really cool. Huge shout out to all the actors. They really killed it. Everyone. And this... The second thing, we waited a while before we went in again, and the skit lines changed. So it was kind of cool. That was cool. John pointed that out. Thank you, John. But actors of five, huge shout out to everyone. Once we get the computer back, we'll start interviewing you because I want to talk. Duration, I'm at a, 
three. It's 11, it was 12 minutes. Oh, was it? Yeah. It just seemed so much longer. No, but it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It was what we were looking for that night because we've been so busy with Christmas and me being away, you being away. We didn't want to travel that far. So this this was perfect for us. It was us. perfect. It was perfect. Um, definitely worth the money. Even the line actors kept you entertained while you were in line. Yeah. There was no miserable people out there. Everyone was having a good time. It it was it was awesome. Um, we're going into Fear Factor. Terry. Hmm. It was a five. <laughs> Terry jumped off and screamed three times. Was it three? Yes. Damn. And a couple more through the second time around. So you scared Terry. You got her. You're my fear factor meter. See, that's what I should be working on right now. Because <laughs> I'm working on a Terry screaming meter. Little video we could clip at the end of haunt reviews. I think that would be so funny. That would be funny. <clears throat> yeah. But what she doesn't know is I have to scare her in the house so I can record her screaming. Yeah, I just I wanted can't to, do the scream I, on... No, you can't. It's not the same. And I want it to be, like, your legit scream. Oh, so I'm going to scare... Been perfect to when the kids pranked me with the snake. Yeah, but I didn't have the stuff then. That would have been perfect scream. But yeah, we're going to scare the fuck out of you so I can get that scream. Oh, okay. Um, we're going to move on to lighting. Lighting. Oh, five. Oh, my God. It was so... It was really, really cool. The Christmas lights added different features to every inch of this haunt. Yes. And it wasn't a lot of Christmas lights. It was just enough. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't overpowering. No, it really wasn't. And they and changed I the. I loved how the little snowflakes were in little the dark lights. out part. Yes, yes, they were so cute. They were cool, very cool. And they used different. It wasn't just like your run of the mill Christmas tree lights all over a haunt. They had different areas for different lights. Right. Like one room had all the icicles. Right. One room had all the lit candy canes. Yes. It was. It was really cool how they did it. Because a lot of places will just hang Christmas, and that's fine. You can hang Christmas, Christmas lights. Christmas lights, but well, one had dark garland, which was kind of creepy. It, yeah, it looked like a closed down Christmas factory. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it was really cool. Makeup and costumes. This is a ten. <laughs> they were amazing. It's a ten, and I actually didn't even score this because we were driving a rental, and I wanted to concentrate on that. Oh, this was a three. <clears throat> but making the costumes, the, the star of that was Jack Frost. Jack Frost. Holy shit. And the first time we went through, we didn't see him. He wasn't there. He wasn't there. No. Right. But he added to that first section, and he kept going and going and going and going yeah. with his skit line. I was impressed. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was a long skit line. I'm, I'm very impressed. He wanted to make me cold. Hey, bro, I like being cold. <laughs> You're not hurting me. Um, yeah, and everyone, everyone, everyone looked phenomenal. I told him I had a cold heart. Oh, you're, you're as cold as ice. Oh, we're going to get copywritten. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, yeah, makeup and costumes, everyone, without a doubt, a five. They had that creepy um, nutcracker walking around the middle yes. way, too. Holy shit, did that look amazing. It, that's a lot of makeup. Oh, my God. Immersion? Yeah, you're in a factory during Christmas time. I'm going to five. Oh, definitely. Five. Intensity, I'm at a four. There were intense moments. Yes, there were. But I'm and just there, at a four. Yeah. Where are you it at? It was funny. Um, some parts were funny. I laughed and I screamed. It didn't have to be intense because it's more of a show for the holiday mm, season. Right. So uh, I'm... A four is fine. Uh, it's it's hard to explain. It is. It's you know it's off season. It was just some. It was fun to do. Yeah, but we had a great time. Scenes a five. Yes. It beautifully done. Now was that wall tilting in on us before? I don't think it was. I don't remember it doing that, but I know exactly which one you're talking about. Because the the, um, the surprise happens, yes. which almost got me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, I was close. <laughs> I almost jumped. 
because you're kind of like walking like this. John actually <laughs> jumped in the swamp <laughs> when the second time through uh, when I made yeah. him go first. That's funny. <laughs> we usually make Terry go first because that's how I get a feel for the fear. Because she's scared going first, even though, you know, the first one's the indicator. All right. Sound and music. This is where last night, other than the makeup, excelled. Oh, yeah. I don't know where they found this music. Shit, I have a midway walkthrough I got to do, too. I think I could put it in here. Okay. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the Midway walkthrough if it doesn't get flagged on YouTube for copyright because I can't do nothing about that unless you want to watch video of nothing, no sound or anything. Yeah. We'll see what happens. But super creative, holiday sounding, oh. creepy music. It was just creepy It was Christmas really music. well done. But it wasn't because I've right. never heard those songs before. <laughs> so it, it, it's like a Christmas melody with like a horror backdrop. It was really cool. It was cool. It was it was easily my favorite part. It was good. Um, special effects, five. Yeah. A lot of shit going on. Did you notice when you're about to enter the chainsaw area, there's actually a face camouflaged up there that comes out a little bit, moves around? I did not notice it's that. It's completely camouflaged. I didn't notice that. Just little things. Like, it was really cool. I know going through it the second time, you, I've picked, I picked up on different things that I missed the first time. Yep. So that's two, one. So, yeah. Uh, overall, go to 4.7. Nice. Yeah. Uh, first favorite scene. Oh, my God. It's so I freaking stopped. creepy. And I waited for the two of them to come and look at what I was saying and... It's all these puppets, but now it's all these Christmas puppets with a Christmas puppet hanging out right with the puppets. It's so creepy. It was very creepy. It just, it stops you and you're just like, you're kind of, not overwhelmed, but oversensitized. Like it was, mm -hmm. it's a cool, it's my favorite scene there. Yeah, I love it. Uh, second favorite scene was the, the butcher for shop. me, it was the butcher shop with the lollipops. I love those lollipops. Yeah, it was really cool. He was very intense. He uh, he got up in your face. He got up in yes. your grill. So, yeah. Um, and the third favorite scene, for me, it's the letters on the wall with Terry, the horn actress, with all the writing. Like, oh, yeah. It's, it's so creepy. It is very creepy. It's like a dreamy school. Because mm -hmm. it's like a blackboard that does this. Yes, I agree. It's very cool. All right, so <clears throat> they had a lot of shit there. Um, they did. They have a merch shop. Uh, they had a food truck. What would you get at the merch shop? I got something. I thought you were going to fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you got, so I it know. just doesn't matter. <laughs> it's a stocking stuffer for me. Can you guess what it is at a haunt? <laughs> um... Atmosphere, I'm going five. This it's felt like, like Halloween during Christmas. It, it did. really did. Everyone was excited. It was a mm -hmm. really good time. Activities, they had the movie playing, the line actors, um, they had the food trucks. They had food trucks that had cheese steaks. I'm going to go with four. Why not? None of this matters for the scoring any. <coughs> Entertainment. Music was going. They were playing the video. Line actors everywhere. I'm, yep. You were entertained. I'm going. I was. A, uh, I'm just going to go a four. Uh, food. Uh, a cheesesteak truck pulled up as we were finishing up. Yep. They had all the rolls ready, and it looked like good food. And if it you don't eat good. there, there's 400 restaurants. <laughs> At least. The you see the taqueria or whatever you say mm -hmm. it was all dressed up like Hooland. Yeah. That was pretty cool. That was cute. That was down the street on the left, if you're heading up the hill to Maniunk. Uh They had New Ridge Brewing Company, and Terry had the what? I had the boozy hot chocolate. Boozy hot chocolate. You <laughs> lush. I had a regular hot chocolate, and you it was and, delicious. Yeah, John had the regular hot chocolate. Yep. Regular hot chocolate. Um, food, I'm going to five. There's plenty of options. Oh, yeah. Um, Haunted Attraction Final was 4.7. 
giving everything a 4.8. But yeah, this was... Um, it was a lot of fun. For their first Christmas event, they knocked this out of the park. I'm really happy with what they did. I even messaged Jared today on Facebook saying, man, that was a great job. It was probably one of my favorite Christmas experiences. We've been around in some Christmas shows. Yes, we have. This one was, this one was, I don't know if it's because we were with John or, you know, we got to actually talk to Jared O'Brien a little more. Or, we had such a blast. Yeah. It was I a mean, really good time. Everyone, I like. Mean, you're talking to. There wasn't anyone without a smile on their face throughout the entire area. And that's good to see. And it's a hell of a turnout, which means all season haunts are working. They are. They're so much fun. Uh, I mean, the, our area, it started with Brighton. Yes. He did the off-season events. Um, turnout was okay. Now that other haunts are joining in, I think it's becoming a little more mainstream. Yeah. And I'm glad we great. got there when we did because we were six in line. Yeah. We got there a half hour before they opened. You know, we did what we do during the season, get there early. But uh, the line was down the block. Oh, it was crazy. Mm-hmm. But it was fun. It was fun. It was a good time. We had a blast. I hope the Midway video is in there for you guys. I'm going to try. I can't do a whole lot with this thing, but I did take some video. I can't wait to go back. I did do an Instagram reel did, for once. Yeah, I did see that. It was my front camera, so it looks like shit, but whatever. It was fun. It was fun. But, uh, yeah, that was Lincoln Mill Haunted House Christmas. We are looking at Valentine's Day and possibly... Laurel's House of Horror. Yes. I think that would be fun. We've never done their off-season. We nope. just went to their haunt this year. Um, we know it's great. And John actually went to Laurel's for Christmas. He said it was outstanding. So I'm interested to see what they do for Valentine's Day. Then maybe we'll do Halfway Back at Field. Okay. Or maybe well, we'll do St. We Patty's. we still have St. Patty's Day, too. Maybe we'll do St. Saint... Saint Patty's. Well, maybe St. Patty's will do Brighton because he's done after that. Right. Because he wants to build. Yes, so maybe is. we'll do a halfway at field. It'll be warm. We went. We did field last year for our uh, No, we did Christmas. St. Patty's Day, didn't we? No, we did oh, Christmas at Christmas. field. Mm -hmm. I don't know where we went for St. Patty's. I don't remember. It was the year before it maybe snowed. We, no, maybe we did do field. Yeah, we did field. It snowed. Yeah. We did Brighton Valentine's. Yep. And then we halfway, got our little presents. We didn't do it halfway to Halloween. No, we did. Where'd we go? I don't remember. Where it doesn't we matter, guys. We're just blabbing. But, guys, this was our review of Lincoln Mill Haunted House Christmas. It was awesome. Sorry <laughs> you didn't get the cool scoring video with the pictures and the kick-ass music, but we're getting there. We're getting there. It's in the shop. I got we'll so just much. We'll have to go back next year for Christmas. Yeah, I think that's going to be the spot. We'll see. But you know what? Other haunts are joining in. We'll see. Still working on, on the area for our haunt trip for this season. Um, if you guys have ideas, let me know. John's tempting me with Georgia, but <laughs> I think I might be leaning more towards Ohio. I, I would say Ohio. With Georgia, there's really not much. No, there's a few. But I don't know. Like, what else is there in Georgia besides that? I'd have to dig. Oh. <laughs> God forbid we have a haunt trip with all these day trip activities. Well, what else are we going to do? <laughs> all right, guys. But on that note, an asshole. this has been Halloween Haunts 365. Thank you, Jared and Brian. Thank you, John, for coming with us. We had a blast. This has been Halloween Haunts 365, where every day is haunt season. Hopefully we'll be back to normal soon. Bye. Bye.